NASA's Kepler mission ended in 2018 after more than nine years of fruitful planet hunting. The space telescope discovered thousands of planets, many of which bear its name. But it also generated an enormous amount of data that exoplanet scientists are still analyzing. Now, a team of researchers has shed new light on a seven-planet system in Kepler's ocean of data. The star is called Kepler 385, and it's about 4,670 light-years away. Scientists have known about the Kepler 385 planetary system for years. Some of its planets were confirmed back in 2014, while others remained candidates. But updated methods and refined data have led to new understandings and discoveries. The team of researchers behind the catalog says it lists all known Kepler planet candidates that orbit and transit only one star. One of the most intriguing systems is Kepler 385, which boasts seven planets so close to their star that they're bathed in its heat. All seven are larger than Earth, but smaller than Neptune. Kepler 385 is similar to the Sun, but a little larger and hotter. It's 10% larger and about 5% hotter. It's one of a very small number of stars, with more than six planets or planet candidates orbiting it. The two innermost planets are both slightly larger than Earth. According to the new catalog, they're both probably rocky. They may even have atmospheres, though if they do, they're very thin. The remaining five planets have radii about twice as large as Earth's and likely have thick atmospheres. But the new catalog is about a lot more than just this rare and interesting system. Kepler 385 is just one of the highlights among the almost 4,400 planet candidates and 700 multi-planet systems in the work. With improved measurements of the stars that host all these planets, especially from the ESA's Gaia Star Measuring spacecraft, the researchers were better able to analyze the distribution of transit durations. Transit durations are an important tool for probing exoplanet distributions. It concerns orbital eccentricities, which range from circular orbits with an eccentricity of zero to highly elongated orbits. There isn't enough data for most exoplanets to measure their eccentricity individually. But the researchers developed methods that can characterize the distribution of eccentricities for a population of transiting exoplanets. This is an important component of the new Kepler catalog, and it led the researchers to some new conclusions. The main one concerns the nature of planetary orbits in multi-planet systems. In terms of potential habitability, the Kepler-385 system is a dud. All seven planets are well inside the habitable zone and bathed in intense radiation. In fact, all seven of them receive more heat from their star per area than any planet in our solar system. But this new work isn't about habitability. It's about a new Kepler catalog that's more detailed and accurate than its predecessors. Now, we have even better data on all those planets. Who knows what other insights it'll generate?